How do you find the equation of a circle? In this lesson, you will learn how the Pythagorean theorem can also be used to graph circles by exploring the definition of a circle. Let's review. A circle is defined as the set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from a single point, known as the center, that's also in the plane. The Pythagorean Theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, is a formula that shows the relationship between the legs and hypotenuse of a right triangle. Core Lesson The unit circle is a circle that has a radius that is one unit long and is centered at the origin of the coordinate plane. A right triangle can be created within the unit circle by using the radius of 1 as a hypotenuse, part of the x-axis as a leg, and a vertical segment connecting the two as a leg. If the point where the triangle touches the circle is known as xy, then the x-axis portion of the triangle has a value of x, the vertical portion of the triangle has a value of y, and the hypotenuse is the one unit radius. If the reference angle theta is always inside the triangle at the origin, what are the sine and cosine values for this angle? Using the definition of the sine of theta, which is opposite over hypotenuse, we get y over 1, which simplifies to just y. Using the definition of cosine of theta, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, we get x over 1, which simplifies to just x. This means that the x-coordinate of the point on the unit circle represents the cosine value of the reference angle and that the y-value represents the sine value of the reference angle. Even though students know that the coordinates of the unit circle represent trigonometric values, they sometimes identify them incorrectly. To keep them straight, remember that order pairs are in alphabetical order. In other words, cosine before sine. Since the definition of a circle is the set of all points x, y that are the same distance from the center, and a right triangle's hypotenuse can always be created to connect those points to the origin, the Pythagorean theorem can be used to represent all the points that make up a circle. In this case, we have x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared. A more generic form of the formula can be made when we realize that the 1 represents the radius of the circle and can therefore be replaced by the variable r. In this case, we have x squared plus y squared equals r squared to represent the formula for the circle. In this lesson, you have learned how the Pythagorean theorem can also be used to graph circles by exploring the definition of a circle.